Before you leave, uh, Senator Cruz, I might just take this occasion to correct a couple of the misrepresentation in what you just said. First of all, so far as I know, no member of this committee and members of the Senate on this side of the aisle are in favor of defunding the police. That is a massive distortion. Second, my comment about metrics was about sales. There are no reliable metrics on sales. There are clear metrics that link ghost guns to crime, and that is the point. On traceability, yes. You'll hear from law enforcement, or you would if you stayed, about the importance of tracing guns involved in crimes, in solving crimes, and putting criminals behind bars. Nobody on this committee, on this side of the aisle, wants to confiscate guns from law-abiding citizens. And as you well know, there happens to be an amendment in the Constitution that would, under the present Supreme Court interpretation, forbid it. I'm going to ask my Democratic colleague... Senator Blumenthal, if I could briefly ask a question. You, you just said a moment ago that no Democrat favors abolishing the police. If that were the case, why did every single Democrat vote to confirm Vanita Gupta a nominee for the number three position at the Department of Justice, who said last year in writing, in written testimony before this Senate, advocated abolishing the police. And she was confirmed by one vote. Every single Democrat was the necessary vote to confirm a radical who advocated abolishing the police. And just this week, we're taking up Kristen Clark, another radical who has last year in testimony before the Senate advocated abolishing the police. If you don't support abolishing the police, why do you keep voting for nominees who advocate abolishing the police? As you well know, Senator Cruz, that is a complete distortion of their positions. We're not here to talk about those nominees. If you want to stay, we can do it at the end of the hearing, but right now we're going to move on. Uh, I turn to my Democratic colleagues, if either of them have any opening statements. Uh, Senator Feinstein. 